Graham said that there are no stock market experts. So, no one knows the future perfectly. He said it's better to focus on the past and the present rather than focus too much on the uncertain future. So, he would uh, pay as much, as much attention to the balance sheet if not more as he would pay to the profit and loss statement. Also, what he said is earnings are by nature volatile. So, some years earnings go up, some years earnings come down. So, do not be uh, excessively focused on a single quarter's earnings or a single year's earnings. You should average out earnings over multiple years, at least 5 in number. So, we have discussed he tended to ignore a lot of management quality and business quality kind of factors. So, effectively what is a Graham kind of net net? A Graham kind of net net is a stock which is essentially available to you for free. <coughs> if you take into account the working capital on a company's balance sheet which is the capital which will be left over after the company realizes all its receivables and pays off all its creditors is the net working capital. If that is more than the market capitalization of the company then obviously the company is available to you for free. So, what he said is there could be numerous reasons why such kind of uh, situations could arise. One obvious thing is investors are not valuing the company properly, they are severely undervaluing it. The other possibility is that the company management, it is uh, predicted that the company management will waste all the cash on balance sheet and shareholders will not get anything from that. That could be the other reason. The third thing he said is shareholders are not taking enough interest in the company to unlock the value and here he means the promoter group. That could be another reason. So, Buffett has described this kind of investing as cigar butt investing. Now, cigar butt investing is like someone smokes a cigarette, smokes it half and throws it on the street. So, anyone who wants to smoke and does not have money will pick up that used cigarette and smoke the last puff. So, the, for the person who is picking up from the street, the cigarette is free. There is no price for him to pay. So, that is the equivalent of that in investing is a cigar butt investing. You pick up something which people are throwing away, assuming that there is no value to it and then you try and extract some value out of it. <coughs> One warning, this may not always work. Many a times the problems are hidden. For example, uh, after Satyam. Mr. Satyam, after Mr. Ramalinga Raju, uh, announced that uh, he is going to merge the company with his real estate venture, people started selling the stock. Then there was a shareholder uproar. Board of directors said that we will do a share buyback or pay out a big dividend. If you would have gone on the basis of the balance sheet, the company was available to you for free because cash per share was more than the uh, market price of the share. But it so turned out that the cash was fictitious. There is another company called Aftec, which is which trades most of the time below its cash value, but it is a company which has participated in all sorts of price manipulations in the past and no one knows whether the cash exists also or not. So, there could be problems. Again, when you find something undervalued, either the market price will go up and the share will become fully valued or it could so happen that market price remains where it is and the intrinsic value starts falling because of bad management decisions. So, one needs to be careful when one goes for a cigar butt kind of a approach.
So Buffett has said this. He said that time is the friend of a wonderful company. If you buy a good company, that company will grow its sales, grow its earnings over a period of time. Each year, the intrinsic value will be more than the intrinsic value last year. But time is the enemy of a mediocre business. Like if you were in the business of selling horse carriages and an automobile was invented, then obviously your sales would decline each year. There is no possibility that it will grow. If you are a company like Kodak, then as uh, photography is going digital, the sales of photographic films will go on declining. So, a bad business, as time goes by, the intrinsic value, there is possibility that it could uh, decline over the years. Also, he has said that it is far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than to buy a fair company at a wonderful price. So, just to contrast the two approaches, <coughs> Buffett wants to have a 5 star lunch, but he will go only when there are discounts at the 5 star. Graham says, I will not bother about the health risk or the bacteria and viruses, I will only have food at the roadside eatery, but I want my stuff cheap. So, there is a small difference between the approach of the two individuals. Both want things at a discount. One person wants quality, the second person wants uh, absolute cheapness. Interestingly, sometimes what happens is you get 5 star food at roadside prices. So, at those times there is no uh, debate. Both approaches converge and you should go all out and buy things. Today, uh, we are going to discuss a stock which is more like a Graham stock at the current levels. It is not a bad company. In fact, it has been a good company, reasonably good management. Today available close to free. So, we will look at why that situation has arisen and what we can do out of it. In the past, we have discussed Maharashtra scooters, so that is gone now. Today we are going to discuss Piramal Healthcare. What do you mean gone now? Just go back to the slide you written. Bajaj thinks... Yeah. Here what we are saying is Maharashtra scooter... Maharashtra scooter was a cigar butt. But it was... The underlying business of Maharashtra scooter is Bajaj Auto, Bajaj Fincer. So those stocks are not going to decline in value as time goes by. So it's not like you are buying a Kodak or a... Uh, horse carriage kind of company. That risk is not there. Similarly, I think Piramal Healthcare is also a situation where you are not buying an absolute Ganda company or a declining company. There are prospects in the company. So, that is the point of these two. In Bajaj, Finsev has Warren Buffett or some FI bought 11-12%? Warren Buffett has not bought stocks, at least not officially that we know of. I mean, has some big FI what what Warren Buffett has done is, it is entered into a partnership with uh, Bajaj Alliance on the general insurance okay. side on some distribution. He is interested in getting into India, but currently equity ownership is capped at 24 percent right. and he does not want to enter a country with a 24 percent partnership, but he is talking with this company. He wants more you yeah, he would prefer a 100% ownership. He would be willing to settle for 75 or uh, 60 or whatever, but at 24% he is not interested. Uh, 